Listen to that. You hear it? That is the power of rock and roll! Yeah! Hey, Mona, let's break down that rock and sound. Rock music started when? The 1940s and 50s. Where? Cities all over the United States. New York, Memphis, Chicago, Detroit, Cleveland. By who? Musicians of all kinds. Blues musicians, jazz musicians, country musicians. That's right. These musicians started mixing elements of blues, jazz, country, and gospel together. They also had access to technology that was brand new at the time. Stuff like electric guitars, amplifiers, and microphones. And because lots of teenagers were looking for new kinds of exciting music, a new musical style was born. Rock, Rock and, and roll! roll! Yeah! And what instruments did they use to get that rock and roll sound? Electric guitar, bass, piano, and saxophone were some of the most popular. And a drum kit, usually made up of a bass drum, snare drum, toms, a hi-hat, and cymbals. You'll get a chance to play with some of those instruments later. That's right. Now, Ramona, what was that early rock and roll sound? Well, musicians took a boogie-woogie rhythm, like this and emphasize the backbeat, like this. You hear that? Then they layered on some instruments like saxophone, bass, and guitar. Okay, here's the deal. Huge rock extravaganza at the mall coming up. I want that gig. I want it. So we gotta turn ourselves into the hottest rock band in town. Chuck Vanderchuck's Rock and Roll Explosion! Yeah! Check it. Gear up and plug in. You ready to practice?